As a Bahamian born and raised, I feel like it's my destiny to show you guys today's cocktail. And I'm 99% certain you've never seen it the way I'm gonna make it today. But don't quote me on that, okay? You never know who some underdog out there might be doing it the right way, you never know. <laughs> but that said, today I'm showing you guys how to make a Bahama Mama. Let's go! Are you even ready for the smoke? Let's take a look at what you're gonna need to make this cocktail. You're gonna want rum of your choice, a bottle of Gassi, that's right, you bet your last dollar. I researched these French words before I come on, man. It's a dangerous world out here. <laughs> Next, you're gonna want grenadine, orange juice, pineapple juice, lemon juice, and Gostera bitters, and today's glass of choice, a highball. So you're probably looking at these ingredients like, hold the phone, what are you smoking? Well, my question for you is, what are you smoking? Cause this ingredient list came from the one true source that I trust for anything Bahamian. This recipe book has cycled through my family since the early 2000s, okay? Best Recipes of the Bahamas, a down-home book made by down-home folks with down-home recipes from down-home locals. And you know it's legit because the pages feel like scrolls from ancient Egypt. I'm telling you, man, this book came straight from the bush. You know this is down-home third-world content. Man, and let me tell you, I've seen Bahama Mamas all over the web with coconut rum, coffee, summer red, summer yellow, all kinds of smoke going on. Well, worry not. I am here to possibly give you what may possibly be the original Bahama Mama. Don't you dare quote me on that because I, as far as I know, do not know what I'm talking about. I'm following this book that has been tried and true throughout my entire life as a Bahamian. And no, they're not sponsoring me. I just happen to have this book from my parents. Now let's get some ice in our shaker. Okay. And now, it's time to freak out with your ingredients. First, you're gonna want two ounces of your rum, one ounce of your gassy. Now you guys need to let me know if I'm pronouncing this word right, because I'm doing my best to sound French as hell. Gassy, mon ami. You're gonna want three ounces of your orange juice, three ounces of your pineapple juice, a quarter of an ounce of your lemon juice, four dashes of your Angostura bitters, and one dash of your grenadine. Uh -huh, maybe a little bit more. Dashes are always tricky for me for some reason. Now let's get this guy sealed up and shake off some demons. Oh, come on, man. Uh. I didn't struggle with that at all. You guys are tripping. If you like what you're seeing so far, hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and join the crew. We got all kinds of action going on. Let's go. Now we're gonna toss some ice into our glass. As always, I'm using that Ziploc bag because we're making cocktails at home. Oh God, we're getting ice everywhere, but it's fine. Next, we're gonna strain in our mix. Ooh, we got a little spillage going on, but it's fine. We got a lot of spillage going on, but that means it's gonna taste damn good. So for our garnish, I wanted to do a combo of an orange wheel with a mint sprig. You don't usually use those as a garnish, but I feel like it'll give it a nice tiki vibe. So I'm gonna get a nice little slice here. Right, And then for our mints, I'm just going to give it a good smack to release those oils and that minty aroma. Oh dear God, it's so good. But I'm also going to cut the stem off so we don't have the whole thing in our drink. So I'm gonna get that orange wheel in our Bahama Mama, as well as our mint. I'm gonna put it right in the back here. This is a Bahama Mama. Don't let them fool you. This is a Bahama Mama. Let me do a little rotation so you guys can see it on the, uh, the B-roll. Look at that. That looks great, doesn't it? Beautiful. And just like that, our Bahama Mama is complete. Now, it's time for our taste rating to see just what we're dealing with. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Wow. That's a good ass Bahama Mama, eh? Sheesh. This is the essence of a Bahama Mama. It has the correct hue. It's not red and it's not yellow. It has like that, that muddy red. That's the way it's supposed to look. That, that is an immaculate Bahama Mama. Come on. No, but jokes aside though, all those other versions of this cocktail, they are right in their own way. This is just a more obscure version that I guess hasn't really struck the mainstream or maybe it has struck and I just haven't researched the correct channels or websites to see if they had this recipe. But you got to give this one a try. If you've had multiple Bahama Mamas with different recipes, different um, ingredients, whatever, give this one a try and let me know what you think, okay? Because I'm saying this cocktail is good ass, but don't take my word for it. Once again, take that sip and love life. You know, this was actually a pretty fun video to film. I really enjoyed it. It was a good time. I definitely had to research um, Gassi, and I, I really like saying that word. It's a fun word. But when I initially looked at it, I'm like, Cassis? Who did I go to? I went to some YouTube channel called French with um, Victor or something like that. And I was like, how do you say? I searched it, how to pronounce Cassis. And he's like, Gassi. But for my next video, what am I gonna make for you guys? What could I possibly make for my lovely viewership? Maybe I'll do like an existing classic cocktail. I haven't done a classic in quite some time. Well, I guess this is technically a classic, but yeah, maybe I'll make an existing cocktail like a, um, I don't think I've done a Cosmopolitan, something along those lines, but I don't know, yeah. I'll figure it out and have it up for you guys by next week maybe, or yeah, by next week I'll most likely have it up and then yeah, you guys can enjoy that. But once again, sink your teeth into this. Let me know if you like it, let me know if you don't because as always, I can take both positive or negative. And yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this Bahama Mama, my national, no, I'm not, no, 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 it's not the national drink of the Bahamas, but this is, I, I feel patriotism for this drink, you know, it, 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 yes, it's Bohemian. I'm gonna go and enjoy this and you guys enjoy your day, weekend, week, whenever this goes up, you enjoy that day and I'll see you for my next video. And remember, oh, almost burped. Remember, subscribe. <laughs>